Hi there, Sandra here, and welcome to a new video. I painted these two paintings based on Venezia, Venice in English, from Italy, for my artisan watercolor review that I uploaded on my channel some days ago. So definitely check it out if you haven't watched the video yet. And I thought to share the painting process of these two paintings separately, as I really like how they turned out especially because I've never been good at painting buildings, so I was surprised by the end result of both paintings, as I also don't paint with watercolors often, so this was kind of a new experience for me that I wasn't expecting a good result, so I wanted to talk about them in a separate video. So the first painting I used the artisan mold made 100% cotton, cold press, 300 GSM watercolor paper, which it withstand very well, layering, and I really like how the washes dried on this paper. For both paintings I've been using reactivated watercolor, and if you have watched my Artesa watercolor video, you know that I prefer working with fresh paint, but despite that, I still wanted to experience working with watercolors like most watercolor artists do, using watercolor palette and not with fresh paint, to see how I would have felt about it. With watercolors, I always struggled making enough paint when mixing more colors together when I use reactivated paint, so I often made the paint too thin and watery, which of course, with practice and time, I'm sure I will get better at it, but working with fresh paint I personally found easier to control the ratio of water and paint and being able to make and mix more saturated colors. For this painting, the end result is not very saturated, which I could have definitely overlaid more washes to enhance the value, but somehow I have a feeling it's due to the paper itself. Because using the same technique and the same amount of layers, the finished result on the second painting, where I used the Arches watercolor paper, it is much more saturated, so I'm not sure about that. While the outcome on this paper has a more soft feeling, which it sounds silly and maybe it doesn't make sense, but <laughs> at the end I really like the end result on this paper, and I do enjoy working on this paper with watercolor. And you might be wondering why I painted the line work first, when you usually do it after you laid down the color base. Since watercolor paint is grabbed onto the surface easily, when I overlay a thin wash over my line work, the lines don't get smudged, which is awesome, because at least when painting buildings, if I first define and outline the shape, as I've never been very precise when painting buildings, it just helps me to paint my washes more precisely, which is definitely not a technique that you see often used, but I believe that it doesn't matter the way you use any art medium as long as you achieve your desired result. So I really wanted to paint some buildings or houses with watercolors because I really admire and I love those plein air watercolor paintings of painting outside, landscapes and urban structures, so I wanted to try painting something similar. The photos you see that I used as reference are photos my parents took when my family went to Venice in 2005, so 15 years ago for vacation, which oh my god, I was 12 years old back then, such a long time ago. And these photos were taken in Burano, which is one of the islands you can reach from Venice. And here there are many colorful houses, while Murano is another island always near Venice that is very famous for the glass making. When I was younger, I often went on vacation with my family in Italy. We usually went every summer to Calabria toward the south of Italy, because actually my dad is Italian and we have a house there, but I've been to other cities in Italy with my family, and I've been to other cities afterwards, 
and has living in Switzerland and near Italy border. It's very easy for me to reach Italy but also the other countries in Europe. In case you are new to my channel, I was born and I live in Switzerland. I'm actually half Swiss and half Italian because my mom is Swiss and my dad is Italian but I usually introduce myself as a Swiss artist because I was born in Switzerland and it just sounds odd saying that I'm a Swiss Italian artist <laughs> so I keep it short <laughs> and by the way, I do pronounce my name as I would say it in Italian in English you would say Sandra, right? while Sandra would be the right pronunciation in Italian but I don't know why in my videos I say Sandra <laughs> I mean it doesn't matter, it's just a minor thing that I wanted to share so yeah, this is something new that you might didn't know about me and it's funny because I always loved going to the beach in Calabria, in South Italy and of course I'm very privileged that I was able to go on vacation with my family every year so I don't take it for granted but when I was growing up I think you can understand that I was kind of sick of going to the same place every single summer <laughs> and I wanted to go somewhere else and travel to other countries but we never did it so when I was finally 18 years old I was finally free to travel to what I wanted which I did I've been to several countries in Europe and last year I finally went to Korea, Japan and Taiwan as I always dreamed of traveling around Asia I've always been passionate about traveling and they gave me inspiration in life and in my art as well and I always loved taking photos of my journeys to keep them as memory so whenever I can, I travel somewhere even alone, that is not a problem for me traveling alone seems scary to many but for me it's a different experience from going with someone else they are both meaningful, don't get me wrong but to me traveling alone it has a bigger impact on me where I just remember better the emotions and the experience I did on my journeys I'm not sure how to phrase exactly what I want to convey but definitely if you relate to my story in some way definitely let me know because I would love to hear your experience so for the second painting I used the Arches Cold Press 100% cotton 300 gsm watercolor paper which the outcome on this paper is so beautiful many people say Arches is one of the best paper for watercolors and it really is for this one especially, I didn't think I would have been able to paint something so nicely considering that I've never been good at painting structures and building and water as well of course it's not perfect, but I really like how it turned out and I was amazed by my own skills <laughs> but yeah, I think that's everything I don't have much more to say so I will let you enjoy watching the rest of the video with some background music so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video, bye!